Hey guys, welcome back again. Hope everyone's doing okay. So in the last episode, we were talking about Cam's boosted Starlet, how he already broke the gearbox. I was only gone for a week and I come back and he's already blown up third gear. So in the last episode, we pulled the gearbox out of his car, put another one back in there and got the car going again. Um, it's a C52 from the AE Triple One Corolla, much shorter gears because of the foreign drive setup that's in there. It's completely transformed the car and it's um, yeah quite wild to drive. But I didn't go into detail of what went wrong with Nick's gearbox that come out of his car. Now the standard gearbox that was in Nick's car, we originally had a C152 which is found in your just everyday starlets. We never actually broke that. We thought we'd just pull the gearbox out and upgrade it with a standard GT C52 while we were there. Which turns out Nick got a bit rough on the gear and he's um, managed to break it somehow. Now the C52s are notorious for breaking third gear, but we don't really know what's gone wrong until we pull it apart. So I'm just gonna do a quick time lapse now. We'll rip this thing to pieces and we'll check it out inside. So I've pulled the gearbox apart and it appears that third gear is still all in one piece. The gears look fine. Um, so this comes to figure out what's actually gone wrong. And if you remember in the last video, there was this tiny little bolt here that fell out the bottom of the gearbox. Um, when Nick's gone and popped the end of this casing off. And what this does, this attaches to the shifter fork and goes into this shaft here. So without that, we're not going to be getting any third gear at all. So it turns out the gear's okay. It's just a um, little bit rough on the hardware and we've broken a bolt off. Luckily I've got another spare set here. We can just pull this bolt out, chuck it into there, and we're good to go. So the little bolts that hold the shifter forks onto those shafts there, they're actually, the bolts are locked tighted in, so they're gonna be a mission to get out. Luckily enough, I had a spare set of these laying around. 
um, off another gearbox. So those are fitted straight up and um, yeah, the case is ready to go back on. So we've got the box all dummy assembled. I'm um, not going to reseal that up properly and put it back together yet because I'm going to get an LSD for it. And this will be going um, in the blue style at a later date. But anyway, um, pretty interesting. I'm glad to see that when we pull it apart, that gear wasn't blown up and it was just that bolt that was sheared off. So it's not a complete waste. Um, yeah, we'll, re we'll reuse it again and get it back out on the track. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's episode. If you've blown up one of these gearboxes before, uh, whether it be first, second, third, whatever you've done, put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what went wrong with it. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the uh, next one.